Hello, everyone, and welcome back to TBO. I'm just cracking my knuckles, so that's probably, if that picks up, that's going to sound great. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, today's episode, with the release of the Batman impending and our enjoyment of it depending, um, nice. we're going to be talking about whether or not Batman can be a good friend. So what I did is uh, I found a website that uh, goes, are you, are they really your friends? Uh, 15 signs that suggest otherwise. So basically, we're going to go through this list and we're going to determine whether or not Batman is our friend. Based on Batman as a person. This can be any version of Batman, so... Okay. So, so number one. So, hang on a minute. So, we're doing a version of a quiz, but just oh, as geez. interviewing Batman as, a po- as the, you know, quizzer. It's more like a personality qu- uh, style thing. It's a personality it's a questionnaire. It's not a quiz. We did a quiz last week, and if we did a quiz again, which is what I was planning, but I decided <laughs> not to because of scheduling, it's not a quiz. It's a new idea. <laughs> Kind of like our dating series thing. Right. Where we... Anyway. Uh, they only call when they want something. Damn, all friendships should be equal, which means that, that you should receive as much as you put in. It's all based on reciprocation and mutuality. If you're putting in more than you're getting out, you should think twice about what they're asking from you. So, Thank you. Dan, do you think Batman only calls when they want something? Technically, he wants you to call him. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Batman ever even calls you, does he? No, I think he's... Too busy being... Well, okay. Are we doing this based on Bruce Wayne? And then we're kind of determining whether or not Bruce Wayne's an asshole? Or are we doing Batman? Or are we doing both? <laughs> are we determining whether or not Batman and Well, Bruce I would Wayne say they're the same separate? person, right? Because, you know, tons of reliability. But are, are we aware of that fact? <laughs> or do we believe that Batman and Bruce Wayne are two separate people? Are we just a lowly civilian in Gotham? Well, see, who, we'll see if it gets... Who somehow yeah. managed to befriend Bruce Wayne. <laughs> And Batman. We'll see if we get there, right? We're just we're just doing it as, Hang on. as a. Oh um... no! Here's the plan. We're Jim Gordon. There we we're go. We're Jim Gordon. Yeah, we're Jim Gordon. We're technically friends, but like we're still we're like work buddies. So then I'll say if Batman what... was to call, he would only call if he needs something. True. Yeah. I I don't reckon Batman is really calling us, and we're having to call him all the time. And we're only we're we're technically the one. Actually, no, we're the bad friend. Because we're only calling him when we want something. Well, yeah, but we ignore that. It's not, about, it's not about us. It's about Batman. Oh, okay, true, true. We're ignoring our own calls for help. Yeah, yes. With nothing to do with us, you know? Uh, the conversation is never equal. Do you find that you spend your whole time focused on them when you're hanging out? Yeah, that's not cool. We all have problems and things we'd like to talk to somebody about. So, do you reckon Batman is telling us about his problems? He's very closed off individual. Why should we just go to that Batman? Oh, let's go to the, let's go get a drink at a bar, you know, and then you know do a few shots, you know. Let's go to that bar that the Suicide Squad hang out in for no reason. Yeah, yeah, and we just see Batman just start, you know, playing poker, like, you know, throwing darts, you know, starting to do a fist Is fight. Is Batman only focused on talking about himself though? Um, is he talking yeah. about all of his crime escapades? I don't know. I reckon the, he's talking the about... The Hishy Batman is. If we're doing the Hishy Batman, he's all about talking... Because his whole thing is, I'm Batman. <laughs> so he's always trying to dominate the conversation as Batman. Then Yeah, I would say, you know, he's either always talking about him or his enemies. So it, it's still always... It's never about us. It's never about our work yeah. day being in the office. Well, it's never how we took down some crime lords. No, it's always about how he took down the Joker. It's all about Batman, down... but not about ba- us. Yeah, that was terrible <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's the worst batman villain but us. <laughs> a giant butt ass um yeah i don't think yeah i reckon if we asked batman to like chat he would be like oh yeah i took down all of uh, gotham's super villains and what did you do oh you took down some cop great like undercover cop or like rogue cop for the mafia i think it'd be more like oh yeah so i, t- I took down this uh you know the mafia today be like oh that's great so we're back to my I thing. I took down the Joker. Ooh. We're back to my thing. Uh, I did this, 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 and this. Worship me. And then Bruce Wayne's just like, I had sex with supermodels. It's great. Whatever. <laughs> and then Batman goes, do you know what? I'm really jealous of this man. This man's such a playboy. Yeah. He's, he's just switching characters, like running behind a pillar. <laughs> of the Batman. You're spending about 40 minutes just waiting for him to come out from behind the pillar. It's like, Batman, this is the worst way to do this. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, they put you down or make fun of you in front of others. A definite no-no. Usually people do this because they feel bad about themselves and want to use somebody else as a distraction. Draw a line through any friendship like this immediately. Do you know what? I don't think 
He does that. He's not putting us down. I mean, he puts his family down quite a bit. Because he's like, he doesn't really like having kids. That's true. Like, That's true. Uh, they're useful, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna help you emotionally. You're quite stunted as a youth. But is he gonna put us down as? A... He's quite nice to Jim Gordon. He is. He is definitely. That is true. I, I yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say he's like this. You know. I think he's actually a decent bloke. I don't think Batman's ever made a joke. <laughs> no, no. I think he just dead serious. Some someone, someone makes a joke yeah. at him, which is no. Face. He might. He might. Um, he might emotionally like put you down for doing a bad job. Like, you idiots! Up, yeah, I reckon if we, like, did a shit job uh, taking down a crime boss, or, like, accidentally shot at him because he's the Dark Knight and we're meant to be scared of him, and we accidentally hit him with the bullet rather than accidentally trying to fire to the side of him, I think he'd, I think he'd scold us. I think he wouldn't be very nice about it. Yeah, he'd just shout at you. I'd just complain about you. Say you're a bad friend. But, you know, he won't put you down, though. He won't put you down in front of others. Hmm. Mainly because he probably wouldn't be seen with others. Well, it depends on if he's with his Bat family. I reckon he'd put us down in front of his Bat family, whereas Bat family would put us down. No, no, I think. Like, oh put... yeah, you don't have superpowers. <laughs> no, I think Batman's a decent bloke. I think he actually respects what Jim Gordon does. Okay, so we're giving Batman one win. We're giving he's him one not win. A, yeah, he's not a meanie to us. No, he's mean in every other aspect. He's a much. Emotion- <laughs> uh, anyway. Dan, you feel bad about yourself when you've spent time with them. Sometimes it's difficult to analyze behavior, but your emotions never lie. Friends should make you feel good, empowered, and uplifted. If you leave them feeling like crap, then you should probably reevaluate the benefit you're getting from the friendship some people, unfortunately, just like to bring others down. Similar to the last one. But what is our emotional feeling when we spend time with Batman? Man, I wish I was Batman. I feel like... His life's so cool. I would think... He does not spend enough time with us, and he spends too much he's too time. Is he running off and trying to help other people? Like, yeah, I think he's always I putting other people in front of our friendship. Oh fuck! I've just remembered the Harley Quinn show. <laughs> that version oh, yeah. of Tim Gordon is so desperate for Batman's <laughs> love. Oh no! Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah but Tim Gordon, the alcoholic. Like, yeah, he's just like, I really want to spend time with Batman. You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Batman's just like, no, fuck you. <laughs> like, yeah. That... So yeah, he does make us feel like I reckon that Jim Gordon feels like shit because Batman doesn't want to. Well, that hang Jim out. Gordon's depressed. He's just an alcoholic yeah, drinking his life away because yeah. Batman doesn't want to be his friend. Yeah, and he does make Batman feel bad because he just that no, Batman makes Jim Gordon feel bad because he's just like, nah, I don't want to hang out with you. This is a workplace relationship. We're not hanging outside out of the work office hours. So yeah, I don't think he does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, they are aggressively competitive. It's good to be a little competitive now and again. But like most things, you can have too much of a good thing. A friendship based on competitive behavior is never healthier of a true friendship. Batman is very aggressively competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I th- I he's got to be. Th- he's got to be the best. He's like Superman. Fuck you. I'm better than you. <laughs> He 100% I will beat the is. Shit. Everything is a competition with him. Intelligence, strength, speed, smarts, all of that bollocks. I reckon if we played a game of chess, he would whoop my ass. Have you seen Titans? And he would be like, no. That Bruce Wayne's not. like, he's not a nice bloke, honestly. Is he competitive? Is he is he proper going for it? I would say he's, he's sort of maybe competitive, but not so much of himself. Maybe he competes with himself. Right. Oh, what? So he's competitive in his own mind trying to beat himself. Yeah. Okay. I reckon... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. I, also, to help us on this, I did find uh, Batman's five best personality traits and for Batman's five worst personality traits. So Let me guess. I'll That's on run. screen run. Nope. It's from comic book... Oh, really? Um, Something. Comic book something. Com- Comicupbookr.com. Well, either they um, stole it from Screen Rant, or Screen Rant, is- Screen Rant stole it from them. Okay, so, his best, prepared for anything. Worst, being too suspicious. Best, his intelligence. Worst, his method of choosing successors and robins. Best, <laughs> his use of fear. Worst, his stubbornness. Best, his determination. Worst, devotion to the bat suit. Okay. Uh... Two, best his love for his city, and worst his inability refusal to show emotions. And then I found another one, also from comic book something or others, uh, also on his worst character traits. He's bossy, he's grumpy, he's a know-it-all, he's aloof, he's vengeful, he's cynical, arrogant, distrustful, bad parent, and amoral. So there we go. We got some character traits for Batman. Does that help us answer our question? No, nope, not at all. Thank you so much. Well, we got some character traits. <laughs> so we know he's 
Yeah, but I've forgotten what you said. Ugh. Don't I'll say it again. Send I can send you the link so you can have a look at that, it. That's a good that. idea. Do that. Okay, I'll do that. And while should we do that, Dan, talk more about Batman being a good friend. Well, isn't that what we're determining? Like, is he a good friend or not? Yes. These questions. Well, um, so what was the question is again? Is he a competitive? Is he competitive? Yes, he is competitive. He competes for himself. Okay, and cool. yeah, there's an Injustice League. Okay. Dan, they aren't happy for you when good things happen. This is one of the most common telltale signs that it's also based on competitive behavior. A true fan will want to see you succeed and be happy. Is Batman happy for our successes? I would say no. He's not happy when we take down a crime boss because he didn't take down the crime boss? I Actually, you know, I think that would be true. I don't think he would. Because he always wants to be the one in the spotlight. Yeah, he can't let Superman take that. <laughs> or Jim Gordon, you know. I have sent you a link on Facebook. Thank you. I just remembered I don't have Messenger installed anymore. <laughs> wow. You're a smart boy. <laughs> okay, no, it's not like I uninstalled it. It's because I have to reinstall Windows. That doesn't... That doesn't... It's a browser. <laughs> it's not an app. No, Messenger's an app. You... Yeah, but you could just do it on a browser. Just open Facebook. Ah, uh, yeah, but I don't have Facebook on my... my... I... Yeah, whatever. I had an app for it, right? You're a bad friend, Dan. <laughs> you don't have Facebook, the social media platform for friends? <laughs> How dare you? No, I live alone. Batman. I'm Batman. I'm the Batman in the situation. This is what we're actually determining, is that I, if I'm the good friend. You're the... How are you? The... Whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know when Batman's ever done praise of someone for doing a good thing. Like, in the uh, Lego Batman movie, he's not happy when uh, Barbara Gordon does good things. He's not happy when, uh, no, he actually, no, okay, no, technically he is kind of happy when Robin does some good things, but it's kind of negative, like, uh, what's it? And then he does grow, but hey, look, I don't want to have to go through the character growth of Batman to get a good friend. I mean, we need to determine if Batman's a good friend now, not at the end of his movie. <laughs> okay, Dan, here's a really easy one. They bring drama into your life. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely... <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10 there. It's usually the people who spend their time moaning about drama who are the ones causing it. You don't need that negativity around you. No, that is true. That is definitely true. Dad, have you heard the uh, thing about if Batman didn't exist, none of his villains would? Because Batman causes crime to rise with his justice. Yeah, I agree. I, I do agree. It is definitely Batman making Gotham a bad place. Unless you a watch billionaire. Gotham. <laughs> what, what happens in Gotham? Well, all the enemies come first. Oh, right, yeah. I, I feel like that's a shit premise for a show. Gotham is fantastic. It's, I think it's actually one of the best Batman things, and it's not got Batman in it. This just seems bad, though. Why? You, you want to see a mentally deranged person who thinks he's the good guy go around beating up people. That's why I'm looking forward to the new Batman movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do see that. You still do see it. But... Who's Batman? Then? No, it's just Jim Gordon doing it instead. That's. I guess that's us. Maybe we're bringing drama to yeah. our own lives. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to keep dealing with the dr Joker and the Riddler and Catwoman. I mean, Catwoman would be all right. <laughs> you dirty, dirty boy. I thought you were going to say dog, and I was going to be like, no, Dan, cat. <laughs> <laughs> dirty um, dog. Yeah, I reckon Batman definitely bringing a lot of drama to our life. Yep. We're going to get captured. We're going to have Harvey Dent's burnt face, and we're going to be like, oh, God damn it, Batman. You just That was my colleague. Now he's the fucking Two-Face. Ugh. This is all your fault. I have fault. to see him at, now. When we do fucking office corporate meetings, it's gonna be really awkward, and I'm gonna have to stand there, and he's just gonna be over there, and his face is all burned, and he's evil, and he's gonna start trying to take everyone hostage. Ugh, what a bloody mess. Okay, Dan, do you reckon this one? Do you reckon Batman bitches about us behind your back? Do you reckon he's like to his bad family, like, oh god damn it, Jim Gordon sucks. No, like, uh, but I do think he just doesn't talk about us at all. Ooh, is that worse? Is he not even mentioning us to his bat family? He doesn't oh, acknowledge just... our presence. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, it's usually uh, yeah, yeah, uh, an absolute no-no. Friendships need to be based on mutual respect and trust. Don't put up with that crap. Would you talk about Batman behind his back? Like, oh, get this guy. No, because he's Batman, and I don't want people to know I'm. You'd be worried that he beat the shit out of you. <laughs> No, I'm worried about all these mental deranged villains that are going to come after me if they know I know Batman. Oh, yeah, true. I never thought... Hmm. I would, well, I would keep my mouth very shut. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, for God, Batman's not talking about me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so it's a good thing for Batman to bitch... Oh, no, he's not bitching. Yeah, so he's not bitching about us. Okay, so he's not doing... So he's got a good point. He got a friendship point. Yeah. Uh, Dan, your f relationship feels like it's built on 
Conditionality. This is likewise for all relationships in your life. You should feel like they are unconditional and not based on you being or acting in a certain way. We have to have a lot of justice in our heart if Batman wants to hang out with us. Yeah, I don't know. Is that a conditional thing? Actually, that question's kind of stupid. Well, it's if if you're condition like you need to be a certain way not any other way you can't be yourself basically or otherwise it's not conditional i think i think it's just be yourself and if they don't like it then okay that sounds well no but even then that's that's still i wouldn't say right because what if he's a rapist all of a sudden you say oh yes unconditional shouldn't matter that sounds stupid Clearly, it matters. Like, surely all relationships are conditional to an extent. Yeah, you gotta have some conditions. Yeah, that's stuff. like, that's a stupid question. You have to have conditions. They shit on the bed. Oh, that's great. Oh. It's like, oh, oh no. yeah, yeah, yeah. They can be the worst person in the world, but it's unconditional. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> but I reckon Batman is a, uh, wants us to have conditions. I reckon he wants us to be like, he, he needs us to ring the bat single. It's like, ugh, that's your one job, dude. If you don't do that, I can't hang out with you. Can't I just text you, Batman? <laughs> Why do we need to send a fucking light in the sky? I would say it, it's fairly... Actually, no, it is conditional because Jim Gordon has to be the commissioner. Oh, yeah, or otherwise the police system falls down and they all go after Batman. Yeah, so it is so conditional. So he's only friends with us so that he doesn't go to jail. Yep. <laughs> There's a condition. Yeah, Batman's not a good friend there. No. Oh, uh, Here's the one that's going to really nail this coffin. Your friend bail on you oh yeah yeah i mean sometimes i just talking to him and then he's turn around he's gone yeah sometimes it happens and that's fine but if it's constant then obviously shows that your friendship is unreliable or much be- uh, much less invested in the friendship than you are maybe it's your turn to bail on them permanently calm down <laughs> honestly friends not bridges that's not right what <laughs> That's that's not a saying. Oh, friends that's saying not build bridges. bridges, not walls. What? You know that phrase? That's, that's saying build yes, bridges. I know not what walls. it means, but I'm like, why would you need to do that? Well, no. My point is, it's better to have that friend. I'm Donald Trump. Even I if love they're to not a great bridges. friend, just have a friend rather than have not have them not at all. Just keep them just why to the sideline. But I like burning bridges and building walls. They're my two favorite hobbies. What if that's my condition to a friendship? You have to go around burning build it, bur- bridges and building walls. And you'd be a bad friend. Yeah. Because it's conditional. I'm building a bridge to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> a and bridge I'm to the heavens. I'm destroying those uh, landscape bridges. <laughs> I'm building her horizontal bridges. Vertical. Whatever. But yeah, Batman. Batman's disappearing on us all the time. We're going for brunch. And he's just fucking off. And it's like, God damn it, Batman. Can't you just take one day to hang out with us and not... You go disappear? to the toilet. You come back. And the bell's on the table. He's gone. Yeah, leave you to pay. And we for don't it even all. know he's a billionaire. He could be paying for this. Exactly. <laughs> he's just bailing on everything. We go to the movies to watch Batman, and he's just bailing on us. He's gonna go be Batman. Like what a cunt. <laughs> Awful. Awful. Dan, the next one is they use your secrets against you and share them. No, no, I think I think that's you know he he does though. No, Batman's in very dark- tight-lipped. Yeah, but in the Dark Knight, he uses the secret that Harvey Dent was Two Face and holds it against Commissioner Gordon to use him as a symbol, and then that's why in the Dark Knight Rises, it all falls down. He does. He he uses secrets against you. Does he though? Yeah, because he I makes Commissioner Gordon lie and say that he did it, and then he builds it up, and that's why in the fu- in ba- Dark Knight Rises, it all falls apart because the truth comes out. Huh? I suppose maybe. Also, he's gonna keep your. He's going to use your secrets against you. He's going to be like, hey, look, you have a corrupted workforce, but if you keep them employed, I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of them. So keep coming. Keep bringing them in. It's good training. Yeah. Uh, this is malicious and absolutely nothing a true friend would ever do, by the way. I I don't think it. he does it I've used your secrets against you. Huh? I've used your secrets against you. What secrets do I have? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But I will use them against you if you ever tell me. I don't think I have many secrets. I have secrets. Deep, and one day, dark secrets. I'm Batman. That's my secret. I'm Batman. Where is she? Where's Rachel? That's not this was... entire episode. That was a terrible. That was terrible. That was... Where's Rachel? Uh, uh, not as good. Not, mine. That, not I don't know. I, I kind of just gave up halfway through it. I was like, well, uh. Yeah, this entire episode was just an excuse to get to this point. Well, we just do Batman impression. <laughs> Who can do the best Batman impression? Welcome to the uh, true Christian Bale podcast. Batman. It has to be Christian Bale because you can't do Ben Affleck's because it's a robotic voice. George Clooney is just 
George Clooney and Michael Keaton. I don't ever think I've heard Michael Keaton's, <laughs> except in the new trailer. I think it's just Michael Keaton. Have we actually heard Robert Pattinson speak yet? I don't think I've seen him speak as Batman. Uh, I think I I think there's been a clip where he speaks. I do not remember. <laughs> I remember seeing the court scene, and he just it's just silent for all of it. I was like, no, no, he says justice. Because he's like, he answers the riddle to that question and he goes, it's justice or something like that. So he does speak. I just don't remember it. We'll have to wait and see. I think Christian Bale has the most memory. He definitely does. I think at the moment, pre-Patterson, I think Christian Bale is the best Batman. And everyone else's take is either kind of like, after that has been kind of like, "Eh." it's only been Ben Affleck, but it's kind of like, "Eh, it's just gravelly Batman voice now. Or synthesized robotic voice, which I did like, but I'm just like, Ugh. anyway, Dan. <laughs> the number twelve out of fifteen, they are a bad influence and make you do things that get you into trouble. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, he's always <laughs> asking for legal activities for me to do. I don't want to do them, but he's asking for it anyway. He wants me to get fire reports, but not go through the legal process. Yeah. Ugh. He wants me to go into a tunnel and then get trapped in that tunnel. Oh, it's just like ridiculous. Nip this in the bud before you end up getting yourself into trouble. Friends don't make friends do bad things, or text when drunk, but we'll turn a blind eye on that to that one for now. What? I <laughs> what don't. I'm f- not sure about that one. Friends don't make friends do bad things, or text when drunk, but we'll turn a blind eye to that one for now. What the fuck does that mean? Are they I... promoting texting while drunk? I think they mean that might be a future question. Oh, it is not. <laughs> well then, we don't know. But yeah, no, Batman, Batman is 100% getting us to do bad things. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like, well, what just by example? allowing him to exist, we're exactly. getting Exactly, I mean, we should not be working with Batman. It's illegal. And he keeps making us, you know, asking us questions, confidential police reports. Yep, tampering with evidence of a crime scene. I'm he's sure get, we, uh, Jim he's Gordon. He's getting all his good, dirty, grubby hands all over the evidence, and we're just letting him. Jim Gordon could go to prison for life for what he's made us do. Wait, what? I, I realized what I've said here. <laughs> you were talking about ourselves. I've sort of like lost context. You spoke in the third person that jumped back <laughs> to the first person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just keeping our listeners on their toes. Mm. Uh, Dan. <laughs> Well done, I'm proud of you. (laughs) They talk about their other friends behind their back. So this is similar to the other one where they talk about us behind our back. But now it's they talk about their other friends to us behind their backs. So do you reckon he's talking shit about the Bat family (laughs) to us? Um... I don't think so, because he's not talking to us. He doesn't care about yeah, us. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't care. He, he doesn't just... want a relationship with us. He's no. just like, how are this wife and kids, Batman? No answer. Just... Just dead silence. Nothing. So, all right, just thanks. Nothing. Good, good, good combo. So he's doing good on that one, but not for the right reasons. He's yeah, just not yeah, talking. Yeah, true, true. So, Batman, how was the how's how's the sun? Just, Jim, g- give me the reports. Just give me the crime reports. I mean, he's just... uh, he technically gets a friendship point on this quiz, but I, he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's a, here's another one based on a similar one. They bail when you need them the most. Yep. I, once again, very simple. Actually, no, I think this one he would get. Be- oh, no, wait. No, I don't think he would get this one. Because Batman's always there when you need him. That is true. He, he, might, be, but he's he not might not be there. there. Think about Harvey Dent. True. But he was dealing with the Joker for that one. He was there to stop the Joker. But he didn't stop. Yeah. Actually, no, he saved Harvey Dent, didn't he? No, he killed Harvey He He, he tackled Harvey Dent off the building, I think. No, but he tried to save Harvey Dent instead of Rachel, right? He did try, but Harvey Dent fell off i can't remember how i need to watch the dark knight again it's been ages that was a great moment in that film because he's got commissioner gordon's son and then oh no i think he throws a batarang at him i think i think harvey dent shoots bat shoots a batman batman throws a batarang and then harvey dent falls off and dies oh yeah that happens yeah yeah i i think that's how that goes i was thinking more to... of the fire scene we got the, the drums of oil oh yeah no he does do that yeah, he, he, he saves harry dent instead of rachel. yeah because he, he's like where is she and he tries to go and get rachel but then he it, it it's the misdirect and he goes and saves harvey dent yeah i think was he intending to do that or did he just get mixed up i'm not sure i need i need to watch that movie again it's so good uh yes okay 
So that answers, they bail when you need them the most. We determined, kinda. Yeah. Oh, right. Also, uh, so there are friends who are, well, friends, and there are friends who are still your friends at 3 a.m. on a Wednesday morning in the midst of your breakdown. The latter are your friends for life, and it's important to know that you can rely on a few select individuals to be by your side through thick and thin. Do you reckon Batman's there when we have a mental breakdown at 3 a.m.? No, no, he, he's out, you know, beating up thugs. He's out having his own mental breakdown yeah. at 3 a.m. He, he's beating uh, the life on the Joker. Yeah. Number 15, and the last question. Well, not question, but thing to determine whether or not Batman's a good friend. They exclude you from things with mutual friends. Batman has no friends. So <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think they have any mutual friends, do they? Jim Gordon and Batman. Oracle? No, I think it's their mutual friends. I think it's it's excluding your things with, with their friends. If it's and mutual, maybe, means they, they both have the same friend. They have Barbara Gordon, and Batman wants to sleep with her. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, it, is Robin and Catwoman friends with Jim Gordon? Nope, Jim Gordon wants to capture Catwoman, and Robin is just the assistant i guess the flash maybe in the Zack snyder yeah universe. maybe maybe wonder woman man. maybe they had one interaction on that roof and then disappeared off of him and yeah but jim gordon's an emotional wreck you'll take whatever you can get true uh also if it's on purpose and happening often despite you bringing it up when they suggest you cre- create some distance it is important to remember that sometimes it can happen accidentally so try and talk them to them about it before jumping to conclusions That's so what are we going Batman. for well we got to determine if batman has friends outside of i us. feel like this point we can't count i don't think there's any mutual friends does he consider the Riddler his friend? Because in the Lego Batman movie, he doesn't technically consider him his friend, but he considers him his mutual enemy, <laughs> and it's kind of like friendship. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of Batman's gallery of friends. He's got Hush, who is technically his like childhood friend, and then becomes evil, who works with Commissioner Gordon, I think, at one point. So... Is Batman going off to hunt down Hush without us? Yeah, I would Is think he so. Is hang out with Hush in a bar without us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so he's a bad friend then. He's a bad friend. He's a bad friend. Okay, so I think Batman got like two points. So Batman is a bad friend. Batman is a very bad friend. Do not friend the so, Batman. Nope. He would leave you hanging. If you went to give him a high five, he would do a down low and then go, way, suck shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to slap you up as well on your bad day. Just not beating you up and saying, just get out of it. Give me the files. Well, that was that. Yeah. We determined Batman, not a good friend. We might do more of these with other releases of other movies and other characters. Who knows? This is going to be maybe another series if people like it. I might get more questions. No, that's all right. That was a good length. I enjoyed it. But yeah, we'll see you when we do our review of The Batman after this one coming isn't that next week the week after yes you've got to watch it so i gave you time this yes. is the interim one. Oh yeah sorry i didn't feel like watching it the day it came out i'm watching it the day it comes out i was gonna go see it at midnight but i decided not to because i had work in the morning <laughs> comes on saturday comes out thursday midnight Fuck going about into friday the fifth yeah saturday fifth. and it's midnight thursday into friday <laughs> that comes on saturday fifth don't it no nah, it's friday oh is it the fifth in america Yes. Okay. We get cool. it like the we get it like the fourth. Right. Gotcha. Because I have tickets for the fourth. Gotcha. But it's Thursday into Friday. All right. Yeah. See you next week. Yes. Bye. <laughs>